hello guys uh welcome to a3 tech again i'm sure you might have heard about these uh foaming cleaning agents universal foaming cleaning agents and you might have come across this ad that it cleans a lot of things i just purchased one and i got an extra one so as to check the uh if it's really genuine if this thing cleans so well so they tested it they tested it with a lot of dark pots and fry pan in the in the ads so i'll be going through it and trying to use it now use it they say swing swing the it asks me to swing the bottle vertically on the desired on the desired surface 20 centimeter gently wipe the surface with soft fabric 0.5 minutes later okay keep it on to serious depth for longer time scrub hard to scratch it okay so we're going to try it out so this is what the two products looks like it's kind of a bit heavy it's kind of heavy or very heavy so what i'll be doing now is this i got this fry pan here now oh <laughs> you can imagine this fry pan is so black and so dark <laughs> i'm even sure it's more dark than what we saw on our heart i made a mark on it so that i can only do half of the pot and i will check what so that we can compare the results so i'll be shaking I'll be shaking the this thing. Then let's spray it. We are just spraying half of this. So we are trying to spray half. Just let's see. Hmm. I can feel some smell, some strong smell. I think the reaction is occurring. So I can feel some strong smell. I'm just going to draw off the pot. So I'll try this. I would I would live for longer. So that's the instruction that we should live for longer. I'll live for like a minute and then come back to clean it and see what it's like before I try this on my on my car because i probably brought it for the interior of my car i can't stay at the car wash for them to wash it all in the whole day and not go anywhere so i'll do it at my leisure so we have half of the fry pan covered fully i'm trying to make sure everything is covered and covered fully covered fully okay okay let's just give it one minute or more it was said uh, 0.5 seconds, but I'm going to give it one minute, 30 seconds. So let's just say the time starts now. So I'm going to leave the time here now. Let's just, I'm trying to see if you're going to have a picture. Oh, the foam is drying. I started the time late. The foam is drying. The foam is drying. But I, I can, I don't know if you can actually hear the sound. I can actually hear sounds as the, the reaction is going on. I can hear sounds. I don't know if you can, but I can really hear sound. I'm trying to see, move my mic towards uh, the port. If my mic will really pick it, but I can actually hear sound. I can hear sound. I can hear sound. Okay, we have 35 seconds left. <laughs> Whoa. 28 seconds left. Let's go. So I have a mini rag here that I'm going to use to scrub it up and see. Let's see the magic is going to work. Let's see the magic. If this works, I'm going to try and do a, a feedback for them. And if it does not work, they better be expecting me in every of their hearts. They better be expecting me. Good. Okay. That's done.
So let's wipe it off as instructed. This is my rag. <laughs> In the actual sense, I think it actually worked. It worked. Because you can see how this place it's getting cleaner. The mice work, it's getting cleaner. It's getting cleaner. But the way they do it in video, yeah, like you're not probably going to scrub hard and everything is going to look just with a swipe. But with what we have now, I have to scrub harder. So let's see, let's see the general one. What do you think? This is the part I sprayed. This part. You can already be seeing the depth of uh, the pots. Some places are already opening compared to this. You can see. So the bottom, little change. Little change. Maybe, maybe, maybe I need to scrub hard. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I need to scrub at that. But that's the result we got. Well, I'll leave you to decide. If you have used this product before, kindly let me know what uh, your result is. But after this, out of 10, I'm going to give it a 4 over 10. Because the ads literally are misleading. The ads are misleading. It should not be as this stuff. The ads are extremely misleading. I know if I want to get it off right now, I have to use probably a sponge or some hard scrubber to get it off. Thank you for watching today's video and let me know what you think about this kind of hard misleading people to buy products that are not really, really effective as they claim. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and if you are new here, subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.